Hi guys, it's Liv, and so today I'm going to be doing a haul video for you. And the reason why I went on this haul, like shopping trip, is because I went through all of my closet stuff and my clothes and I totally reorganized everything. And that was kind of part of the plan for the previous video that I did, which was the plans for the channel. And so if you haven't watched that yet, go ahead and watch it. It'll be in the link below. The link will be below. And so I'm not going to go into great detail about that because you probably already watched it or you're going to watch it. So, yeah. So on this haul, I went to the United States because I live in Canada and I wanted some more variety and better prices. And so I got a couple of things that I knew I would need for the new school year and just in general. And I did buy quite a few things, but it was things that I would need in the future and things that I could use for multi use and multi-purpose so for example when I went through all of my old clothes and I went through them all I gave them away to my friends uh, younger sisters and I also gave them to Goodwill and charities and things like that I found for example I didn't have a lot of jeans left because one I'd grown out of them or they just were too worn down or whatever it was I just didn't have them in the first place so I ended up getting a lot of jeans and things like that and in this haul, there are a few little school supply type things just to get you started, just because I found them and they were really cute. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first store that I went to before I hit the mall was Target. And I love Target because it really has some really like cool and funky things. And this is where I got some school supplies, just a few things. So the first thing that I got was this little kit from Yobi. And it's just this tiny little kit that basically, I'm having troubles opening this thing always. It's really bugging me. Um, and basically inside of it, it has this little stapler. Uh, got it open. Okay. Inside of it, it has this little stapler, this cute little pencil sharpener, um... This hole puncher, these cute little scissors, um, the stapler remover, some staples, some tape, and then a mini tape. And so it's basically like an emergency kit, like you just keep it in your backpack if you need any of these supplies. Because I know it's always been a pain, like, oh, you need the stapler, but you have to get up in front of everyone and go get it. It's like, it's just cute and little and stuff like that. And it was pretty cheap. It wasn't like super expensive, like I know things like this can be. Um, and what's really good about Yobi is that it's like, if you buy one, they'll give one, like a supply like this to someone in a different country. And it's very, it's very kind, I guess. It's just cute. So that was fun. And they also had it in like blue and green and purple. Like they just have four main colors that everything is. So you could get it in that. And the second thing I got was this card set, which had 10 in it. And it's just these blank cards and they're really cute. And they just have daisies on them. And then I found this, like, really cheap amount of hair ties. And I always need hair ties. Like, so that happened. And then I got these really cute pens, which are just black pens, I think. Black ink or blue ink. But they're, like, cute. And they've got all of these different polka dots on them. Just adorable. And then this last, I got notebook that says, Don't Kill My Vibe. And it's really cute, and it reminded me of Kate Spade, but it's, like, this other brand, Gartner Studios. I don't know. I found it in Target, and it's just a regular notebook for, like, a subject for taking notes and stuff. And from PacSun, I just got one shirt there, and it's first of all, no, second of all, no. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> that was not funny. Okay, um, but I did, like, if you can see here... It says Brandy Malville in the tag, and that's because PacSun holds a lot of different stores' brands in them. Like, for example, Brandy Malville, it holds, like, Adidas in it, and most stores do, but if you know what I mean. They have the Kylie and Kendall line, and it was cute. I just didn't end up getting any. Mention is Urban Outfitters, and I actually really liked Urban, but we don't have any really in Canada. Well, we do, but we don't have any in the mall that I go to or really locally, so I was happy to find out that they had it. So the first thing I got there, which was a large sweater, was this. Um, finding it hard to find the top. Okay, I, it was just this like large gray sweater. It's really hard to tell what it looks like, but it was really cute. Just big. It's got a hood. Really comfortable. So I got that. 
And then I also found these pair of shorts. And they were actually pajama bottoms shorts, but I'm going to use them as a regular. Because look how cute they are. Like, they're so adorable. It looks like a skirt. Um, It's just so cute. So there was that. And then I also found this thing. And it's like this really cute book. It's called Enchanted Forest. And it's by Joanna Bassford. And it's an Inky Quest and coloring book. So basically inside of it, it's like all of these beautiful pictures that you can color. And it's just so gorgeous. Like, it's so fun. And I'm kind of artistic, but like I'm not so fabulous at drawing. So this is really great for me. Just kind of being able to color. It's really fun. I also, the other day when I was at Chapters, found the exact same book in some other more varieties by the same person and by other people at Chapters. And you can probably find them at Ingendigo as well if you're in Canada. So feel free. They're really great. Um, in the States, they were $15.95, but I found they were $21 there, which isn't too bad. I mean, it's really great. There's tons of pages. They're, you're not going to run out. It'll take so long. And especially in the summer when you have nothing really to do. Like, I started this one. And I probably spent an hour. And I'm only, like, that deep into it. So, if you need something to do. And then the last thing I got was actually this, like, cord. This aux cord. Like, this audio cable came in this package. I totally ripped the package up. And I found it at Urban. And it's just, like, this cute little cord that you can play your music from mine's like this like teal this really cute indigo color and this hot pink and it wasn't too expensive it's 12 bucks but they last so long and it's really long too like my friend had this really short one and it was so hard and difficult and just strange so now I have this really long one that I can play in my car and it's really easy to just like put places like transport if you want to bring it to your friend's car and it can work for really any device that just has the little Thingy that this fits in. So the next two stores I'm going to be doing together are American Eagle and Hollister. So I'll start off with Hollister. And so from Hollister I got this cute fringe jacket and it's so adorable. Like it's like this nice material, really nice jacket. It wasn't too bad of a price. It's got all this fringe and I just thought it was so adorable. So I definitely recommend getting that. I got this really cute belt which is just a leather belt. I needed a new one. It's got these nice little flowers and leaves on them. This is my personal favorite from the whole haul, this shirt. And it's really loose and comfortable. And it's just so adorable. Like, I love how it crosses over. And it's got this cute little tie. And it's just loose. It's kind of longer in the back, as you can tell, hopefully. And I just, they had it in so many different colors. I just love it. And so, I also have this cute little cropped tank which you could put under anything even if you just want to show a little bit of stomach maybe half doing up something like maybe even this jean shirt I don't know I really recommend them they're just basics and they had them with different colors and different patterns so I definitely recommend getting one of those and then also um jeans from there I got one pair and they're just nice rips they're just so cute and they look really nice on, well, they look nice on me. That's why I bought them. But I love them. They're comfortable. And then going into American Eagle, I got lots of jeans there. So the first pair that I'm going to show you guys are these ones. They're kind of similar in a way, but they're different. They're jeggings. They've got nice strips in them as well. They're super stretchy. They're really nice. And I just, everything that I bought, I personally think that you guys should get if you have kind of a similar style to me. Then I also bought boyfriend ones, and I love boyfriend jeans. Like, boyfriend jeans are honestly my favorite type of jeans just because they're so comfortable and they're so rippy most of the time and loose and just cute. Like, I just love them. There's two different ways that you can wear these ones, and personally, I love both of them, but I like the first one. So you put it, like, kind of around your, just your basic waist, and you kind of make them lower. And, like, a lot of people now pull up their jeans higher. They have high-waisted or they just pull them a little bit higher. Like, I honestly pull them up to my belly button or just below a lot of the time. Just because it's more comfortable and it feels more put together that way. But this way looks super cute, too. Or you can pull them up, like, regular. And then the last pair of jeans that I got were these. And they don't personally look like jeans to begin with. But they're super cute once you put them on. They don't look fabulous now. But they do when they're on. 
Um, I tried them on. They were the most comfortable pair of jeans I've ever worn. Like, the person that was helping us, she's like, you know, you have to try them on. They're really comfortable. And I felt like I was in pajamas, like, honestly. And you can dress them up. You can dress them down. You could wear a sweatshirt with them. You could wear what I'm wearing. Well, if you like denim on denim, well, that would be fine. But you could, or you could, like, wear a nice dressy shirt, a blouse, whatever. So I definitely recommend these. And so the last store that I went to when I was in the States in this mall was Lush. And so at Lush, I got two different bath bombs. And so you're probably wondering, like, you could have gone to Lush and gotten the same deals and same prices and products, the, like, the exact same ones when you were in Canada. But the thing is... They are getting rid of so many different bath bombs at the end of the summer that I really love. And that really kind of annoys me because I literally am just like, I haven't even had time to try most of these and I love some of them. So I decided I would get some of my favorites. Well, I actually got two that I'd never tried before, but I decided to get them just because when you think about it, how many times are you going to go to um, the mall or even like just Lush in general? before the end of the like the summer like I would have gone this time and then I'll probably go at, like maybe one more time and actually buy stuff so I just decided it would be a good time so the two that I bought was um the first one was Granny takes a dip and it looks like this and it it smells so good and I've never tried it and everyone talks about how it's their favorite and it's so big so I decided to try that one and then this next one, everybody knows about or has tried it, slash both, um, is the Galaxy Girl. Like, space. I mean, Space Girl. And it's so, so beautiful. It smells so good. And it, I can't wait to try it. So that's the end of my haul. Thank you so much for watching. And please remember to subscribe, uh, like, comment down below. And please make sure to watch my previous two videos and to watch the ones next week. And then you can always, like I said before, subscribe and you'll get notified. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!